So I'm a junior in high school, and when you're a junior, you gotta start thinking about college. And the first thing that comes to mind when I think of college is the SAT and how much preparation you need in order to score well on it. The SAT, as some of you might know, is a test that- Tests. Like, the stuff you do during the school year? Yeah, yeah, a written test about four hours long. Colleges use it to, uh, gauge where you're at. Nope, nope, I refuse. It is summer. Well, this isn't negotiable, you kinda have to. I will not. You won't get into college. Doesn't matter. Do you like VR? You know, it's kinda cool. So, why not make a VR game? <laughs> Well, that was my first idea. I could create some sort of web scraper so that whenever I click in the VR game, it would also answer on the web browser, and then it would take me to the next question all in VR. But I soon learned about the Khan Academy API. Since all my prep work has been done using Khan Academy SAT prep, I thought, why not try out this API? By the way, all this code is going to be in the description. I've got two GitHub repositories. One is for the VR game and one is for the web app. The first idea was to set up a web app so that the game in VR could make some requests over to the web app and uh, then it would do all of its authentication out in Khan Academy land and I could get SAT questions and answers and I could play them like that. So what is this oauthentication, tarnation, the oauthent approximation, oxidation, the OAuth litigation, OAuth tarnation? Just, just call it oauth. Yeah, yeah. What's that? Yeah, so it's... Have you ever seen a sign up and you can say sign up with Google or sign up with Facebook? Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, I use it so I, I don't have to remember as many passwords. Yeah, so that's basically O-authentication uh, so that you can authorize another program to access some information about your user without actually giving that application your password. Okay. So, simple enough. So I decided to set up this web app, but it wasn't so easy getting authenticated with Khan Academy because the documentation, one, is out of date, and two, O-authentication is just a difficult concept in general. I spent about an entire day and a half trying to authenticate with Khan Academy, and I, I almost got there, but it, it wouldn't redirect me. And so I, I was pretty much out of ideas at that point. Until I found this con NPM package that actually did all the authentication for me and I just set up the endpoints for it. So now that I proved that I could get authenticated with Khan Academy, I needed to start actually creating the VR experience. Now at this point, I only had two days left unfortunately because I was trying to do this all in a week. I originally wanted to use the Steam VR plugin in Unity so that I could code easily in virtual reality, uh, but I actually did not have any sort of vibe or anything to run that on. So I went for the next best thing, which is an Oculus Gear VR headset. That actually came with my Samsung device that I purchased a couple of years back. Get this in, all you gotta do is plug this in and then snap it into place. It's booping at me. You put it on and then you've got VR. So I originally wanted to be able to authenticate within the VR experience, but there was only one plugin that allowed you to use a browser within Unity and it costed $80 and that is way out of the budget of this project. So I settled on the user having to select to get a code and then from that code they would go to the website taking off the headset and they would enter the code into the website and then it would say authentication success once they went through all the authentication process and then they could slip the gear back on and then they would be taken to study. However, Khan Academy doesn't give me any sort of just SAT prep questions 
in their API, unfortunately. I realized I could only really get user stats and exercise stats and video stats, but I couldn't directly access SAT questions from Khan Academy. And I knew I wasn't going to be able to finish any sort of good studying VR experience. It's just going to show you your user stats. It's not actually going to allow you to study in VR. Uh, just the user stats is all I had time for. Okay, so we get into the game and it looks like this. I hope this turns out well. I think it's kind of dark around here and I apologize, but it says, you aren't yet authenticated with Khan Academy. Request a code to authenticate. Uh, and here we have a get a code. Now, if I boop it, there we go. Um, lag spike. And then should work soon. Uh, ah, yes, there we go. Okay, so it says polling. Go to Khan Academy VR Heroku app dot com and paste in your code. So our code is actually 3690. So in real life, I've got to go over to this and say 3690. I hit go um, and I wait and then I accept and it tells me authentication success. So I put this back on and it freezes. Ah, here we go. <laughs> Uh, yes, so you can see my username down here and you can also see all of my exercises now Not very well unfortunately, but you can see that this says exercise compare groups through 10 I think that yeah compare groups through 10 and I've, I've been doing basic math as you can see I have a one streak for whatever exercise this is I have a 15 streak for this one um, uh, the colors represent different mastery levels, so purple means I've mastered it, red means I'm completely unfamiliar with it. I wish this project could have gone a little bit smoother, but I was dealing with a whole bunch of new things I never even looked at OAuth, and I, this is the first time I've touched Unity, so, in trying to do VR in Unity, and it's, it's rough. I'm proud of it. For five days, for a five day project, I, I learned quite a bit. I plan to do another project. I don't know what it's going to be. If you have any suggestions, post them down in the comments. And if you think that there is a better format for which I may use to relay the project details to you because this video was pretty on the fly, just doing this in one take. And I hope it turns out good. Stay tuned for next week's project and I'll see you guys later. Peace.